Hey everybody, this is Tim from AndroidPCReview.com and this is our second video looking at the HP Chromebox. If you missed our first video, there's a link to it below, so definitely check that out first. Now this video is all about the benchmarks. You're used to seeing benchmarks from us using N22 Benchmark for Android. Unfortunately, this isn't going to work on Chrome, so we need to get a little bit more creative. The first benchmark we're going to run is BrowserMark. This will look at browser performance across all platforms. Doesn't matter whether you're running Windows, Mac, Chrome, this is going to work for you. Now, this takes a few minutes to run, so we kind of skipped out the middle bit. But as you can see, the HP Chromebox scored a pretty respectable 3780. It's going to be faster than 61% of all the browsers that have been tested and uploaded to their website. So that's pretty good for a for browser-based operating system. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is a little graphics demo called Hello Racer. Uh, Got to give a shout out to Lon Seidman over at his YouTube page for turning me on to this one. It's a really cool little race car demo. Um, now there's something new here. This one is Razer X. So I haven't run this before, so this will kind of be our first look at it together. Uh, let's click on it and see what what it looks like. Uh, looks like you're getting a track demo, uh, sponsored by Samsung, of course, so expect some heavy branding there. Looks like this is going to take a few seconds to load, so we're just going to wait and see what happens. Wow, okay, that's pretty impressive. Uh, let's just make this full screen. So we've got the typical F1 card racing around the track. Um, I gotta say I'm really impressed for graphics considering this is only a Celeron with two gig of RAM. It's um, the, the shadowing looks really good. The texturing on the track itself, got a little skid action going around the corner. That's nice. Um, and even the background in the sky and the fans in the crowd look really well, well put together. Overall, nice demo. Uh, one of the knocks on the Chromebox was that all you could run were web games. And when the original Samsung Chromebook came out a couple of years ago, you really couldn't get a whole lot besides, you know, the, the whole Angry Birds and that kind of 2D graphics game. So this is this is pretty impressive. Now, what I was originally going to show you at HelloRacer.com was a really cool 3D rendering of an F1 car. It will work in WebGL, Flash, or Unity, so pretty much anything that a web-based game is going to be programmed in. Now, what I like about this one, a little geek moment, you can actually control the car. So you use the arrow keys to spin it around and do donuts across the screen, and yeah, it's kind of pretty cool. Um, but the lighting is really good. You can see the, the highlights and the shadows off the car. All in all, pretty impressive considering it's, like I said, a, a Celeron with 2 gig of RAM. Now the final benchmark we're going to run is Octane. This is a JavaScript benchmark. It's going to be really useful to determining browser performance when running JavaScript, obviously. Um, now, just to show you, this video is sped up a bit. The entire process takes a couple minutes, so we're just going to blow through it really fast. Um, as you can see, it's testing all sorts of things, and we'll get a final number in just a sec. And as you can see, it comes up with a pretty impressive 11.417 score. On our full review at AndroidPCReview.com, we're going to compare these to my baseline uh, machine, which is my Windows 7 desktop. Um, as always, take a look at our full review on AndroidPCReview.com. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe.